All right, welcome back to Integral Physics. Uh, today I want to take a look at a pretty common problem that shows up in physics, and that is a situation where we have a mass on the end of a string, which has some length, and that mass has been pulled back some angle theta from the vertical axis. And what we're going to do in this problem is go through and solve for the velocity of this mass once it's been released and passes through equilibrium. Now this problem is used as an example for the conservation of energy. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the forces which are acting on this mass. Now downward, we've got the force by gravity acting on the mass, and the tension is acting along this string which connects to the ceiling. So knowing the forces acting on the mass, we can now apply the work energy theorem in order to solve for the velocity of this mass. So looking at each of these terms individually, we'll first take a look at the kinetic energy of the mass. Now this mass is released from rest, which means the initial kinetic energy is zero. Next we have the initial potential, which in this case is gravitational potential. Now we know gravitational potential energy is given by mgh, and that's where we run into trouble in this problem. See, we know the mass and we know the acceleration due to gravity, but finding h, the height of this mass in this problem, can be a little bit problematic. So in order to figure out how high this mass is, we need to have some reference height, or what we're gonna call a height of zero. In this problem, I think it's easiest to just say the lowest point is a height of zero. Now the fact of the matter is you could call any position you wanted a height of zero, I just think this is the easiest. So the height h is gonna be the vertical distance between a reference height and the height of this mass. See, once we know this height, we'll be able to determine the initial gravitational potential energy of the ball. So to solve for this height, we need to look at this triangle as though it is a right triangle. See, if we know the length of the string is some length L, and this angle here is theta, then that means the distance from the ceiling down to the mass itself is gonna be L cosine theta. And that's because this side of the triangle is the adjacent side of this right triangle which is formed with L as the hypotenuse and theta as the angle. Now the next thing we need to see is that when this mass swings all the way down so that it's hanging straight downward, it is going to be some distance L that is the length of the string beneath the ceiling. So if we want to solve for H, we simply need to take the difference between L and L cosine theta. So plugging this value in for h, we're going to get our term for the initial gravitational potential energy. Now moving on to our other terms. In this problem, there are two forces, gravity and the tension in the string. But because the tension in the string is at a right angle to the direction which the mass is traveling at any point, the tension is never going to do any work. And therefore, there is no non-conservative work in this problem. Only gravity is doing work to turn our initial gravitational potential into kinetic energy here at this lowest point. Now, at the lowest point in the arc, there is no gravitational potential energy left. The mass will have given up or lost all of its height and therefore all of its gravitational potential. So ultimately, what we have is the conversion of gravitational potential into kinetic. And you'll notice the mass cancels out and we can solve for the final velocity. And we're left with this, an expression which relates the velocity of the mass at its lowest point to the length of the string as well as how far back this mass was pulled before it was released from rest. So I hope you found this useful, and on that note, that's all for now.